Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about how to change the visor and the sun visor on an HJC Arthur 71 helmet. Right, visor change on an Arthur 71. Let's crack on with it. So to start with, just going to lift the visor. And then the first step is this release lever on the shell here. So we just pull that to the front of the helmet and that starts the release. And then just lower the visor slightly from here and wiggle this triangle out from here. Repeat on the other side. So again, visor lifted, pull this release lever forward and it will wiggle the visor free. So that's released. When it comes to reinstalling it, the two pieces of key information, there's a triangle section on the visor here and there's also a tab just there, that little lug there. So there's also a triangle shape you'll notice on the mounting plate and there's also this groove here. So what we're going to do is line the triangle up here with the triangle on the plate and just push this rearmost tip here under that section there. Line them up, apply some light pressure at the back and pull the visor forward until that lug sits under this runner. When that clicks back, you know that we're on. So we'll repeat on the other side. Again, the rearmost point of this triangle is going to go under the lip just here. Apply some light pressure at the back, pull the visor forward until this lug sits under the runner. That clicks back and the visor is now in place. So we'll just lift and lower a couple of times to check that that's all done correctly and that's fine. Right, so that's the main visor done. Let's switch on to the sun visor. It's pretty simple with this. It's just a case of lowering the sun visor as far as it will go and then pulling from each side of the visor, but it's a little bit more complicated with this helmet than it is on many because there's a limit switch on the operation of the sun visor. So you can decide how much drop you want. If you haven't already got that limit switch allowing the visor free movement, you just need to reduce that. So we need to remove this cover here, which is just a case of getting hold of that tab in the center of the cover, pushing it towards the center of the helmet and then just lowering. So that's the cover out of the way. And this is the limit switch. So to let that visor drop as far as it can, that needs to be all the way to the top. So now we can lower the visor fully. And then it's just a matter of getting hold of the visor as close as possible to this edge and then just pulling it clear. Now I find it best with this one, just lower that and get the visor out like this. It gives you a better angle of attack for the other side. And then it's just a case of doing the same on the other side. So like that and away it comes so that's the sun visor out when it comes to reinstalling it you'll see there are runners just between the shell and the eps which as you operate the switch you just see them lowering and rising so make sure they're all the way to the bottom and then we're going to get these two the tangs there are two on each side and then it's just a case of pushing them into that runner so position that in there and push till we hear the click. Repeat on the other side. Again, these two tangs into the runner and then push until we hear the click. Once you hear that click into place, just check that's functioning as it should. Before we finish up, if you need to set the amount of drop that you've got on that sun visor, at the moment this is the maximum. If you had it before so you didn't have the maximum amount of drop, and you preferred it as it was, then we just raise the visor again, put that switch back to the bottom, and then we've got that minimal amount of drop again. So that's working as it should, and then it's just a case of putting the cover back in. So the two tabs on the top there, here and here, just position those into these little channels here, and click it back in place. So that is how you remove and refit the visor and the sun visor on an HJC Arthur 71. Thanks for watching.